What is ChatGPT? Here comes the answer. Or simply put, it's an AI that can answer any question more or less satisfactorily. And this is my home-built single-board computer with Silox C80 CPU running at 6 MHz, 128 KB of bank switch RAM, 32 KB of EEPROM and two UART interfaces. With an optional TMS 9918 video card, it can be connected to a TV or composite monitor and has a resolution of 256 by 192 pixels and 15 colors. And it can run the engine CPM operating systems from a PATA drive or a compact flash card with adapter. I'd like to write a game for this gadget. Can ChatGPT help with this? When asked if it's good at programming, it says that it can assist with simple coding tasks. Let's find out how well it can do this when it comes to programming such an exotic platform like mine. Of course, it does not even know this computer. Nevertheless, I ask it to write a simple Hello World program in the 80 assembly language. Okay, this looks like accurate the 80 assembly code. Every single line has a comment telling what it does. And below that is a general description of how the code works. Does this really compile and run on my Z80 board? Let's give it a try. I can copy it easily from ChatGPT and paste it into the Microsoft code. ChatGPT, however, has no clue about this platform, so I need to manually change the base address to 100 hex because CPM runs user programs from there. Also, the C80 assembler I use here wants me to indent the code, otherwise it won't assemble. I call the make file and the binary is built without any errors and gets automatically loaded to RAM through a loader app and the Arduino Mega. How cool is that? An AI actually programmed my computer. Sadly, this code is not very efficient. It's just dumping hard-coded letters to a serial port, one after the other. Let's find out if ChatGPT can do it smarter. So I tell him to write code that outputs a Hello World string stored in memory. And that looks way better. In a loop it picks the characters out of the string and writes them to the serial device until it has picked the zero that terminates the string. Ok, ChatGPT has some basic knowledge about the 80 assembly programming, but it can't do that very well. And how about higher level programming languages? Let's find out. Here's an AI generated COBOL program that should ask a user's age and decides whether or not they may drink alcohol. We have some empty unnecessary sections and divisions at the beginning, but if we look at the main procedure, we see that it compares the entries with 18 and gives the appropriate answer. This program will not compile, however. That's because in COBOL the lines must begin in column 8. Best way to achieve this is by inserting 6 digit line numbers. So I asked ChatGPT to do this for me. And again it relieves me of a lot of typing. Will this compile? Let's give it a try. I copy from ChatGPT and paste it into Notepad++ and save as h.cob. Then I copy it to the compact flashcard using the cpm pip command. This happens through the loader app and a serial connection. And here we have the file. I start compiling with COBOL equals hcob followed by slash l. This writes warnings and error messages into a file. By the way, you can build this computer yourself. To find out more, check the links in the video description. And if you like it stable and reliable, I recommend you to build it on a circuit board from RPCB. Simply order it from their website. Choose the board's material and colors along with other parameters to make it perfectly suited to your needs. And after uploading the Gerber files and placing the order, RPCB produces them to the highest quality in one of its three manufacturing facilities with more than 1000 employees. Production runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, ensuring fast delivery. Of course, the circuit boards are then thoroughly tested to guarantee the highest quality standards. I got them welded into a sturdy blister pack where they are well protected from shipping damage and humidity. And I also got these practical rulers as a gift. So bring your project to the next level with a printed circuit board from RPCB. 
and some seconds later we get errors. To dig deeper I open the error log with the type command to identify the errors. Here's how the file looks like. Now we can go ahead and fix them. When it comes to coding under CPM, WordStar is a great program. This version of COBOL however seems not to know the greater or equal operator. I change this to is greater than and the h217 of course. Second this compiler complains about the end if statement at the end. Instead I put a period at the end of the line before and I comment the end if out with an asterisk. After saving it's finally compiled without any errors. To get to a running program we finally need to link the object file that comes from the compiler into an executable. For that I start Microsoft's link 80 by typing l80. This gives me an asterisk as a prompt and I type the name of the object file to load it into memory. Then comes the desired name of the executable to be made followed by a slash n. And finally slash e to write it to disk and exit link 80. Ok, now let's give it a try. Sweet little 16. Try again. 20. Cool, it gives the right answers. For some reason however the same answers given twice, but with different wording. Wanna challenge it even more and push it to the limit? So I task it to program a warm game for the console in Fortran. Ok, this looks like Fortran. There is a kind of bug or unwillingness to bring things to an end. So code generation stops somewhere in the nowhere. A workaround is to type continue on the prompt. And this looks like another bug. It writes the code on a normal text field, not the usual code window from where we could easily copy it. Is this all? And of course it's not. I make a new attempt and ask him to write the whole program in one shot. To make long things short, this time again he shows exactly the same behavior like before. Maybe he can do it better in a more widespread language? I try C now. But it's the same thing there, so I merge the parts together. And here it is, possibly the first ever AI generated warm game. But will it compile and run? Well, a quick test with GNU C compiler finished without errors and I really got some kind of a program. This video is about retro computing however, so I have to compile and run this on the C80. I decided for the small device C compiler or SDCC for short. This is a cross compiler that runs on Windows or Linux and generates code for many different platforms, including the C80. Unfortunately some expressions which are understood by the GNU compiler are not understood by SDCC. So I had to adapt these a bit. Also some C library functions are missing and need to be implemented. But after a long hard struggle I finally managed to compile and run the game on my C80 computer. But repainting the grid every second or so makes the game pretty much unplayable. I complained and he modified the display grid function. So all that's left to do is to replace that function in the code editor, compile the program, bring it to the target machine and start it there. Et voila. We can control the worm with W, A, D and S and now I try to steer it towards this asterisk which represents the apple. And yes. The game runs agonizingly slow. Let's try to make the playfield smaller so the program can print it out to the screen faster. Replacing the printfs by putcha could also speed it up a bit, so I give it a try. Well, the worm runs faster now, but still not fast enough to make the game exciting. So I asked ChatGPT to optimize it further. The solution it came up with was to first write the worm and the apple to a character array and then call printf repeatedly in a loop to type its content to the console. However this hack has proven to be even slower so I didn't apply it. Ok, now let's run this on my DIY C80 computer. 
I connected my TMS9918 video card and a TV for the true retro feeling. This game has been programmed by let's say 90% AI. My 10% were just platform specific adaptions and optimizations. And it must be mentioned that it's only the poor core of the game. There is no display of the achieved score, no effects, no sounds or anything like that. When you play for a while you notice that the warm becomes lower the longer it gets. That's because the tail segments have to be moved one after the other so that they keep connected to the head and provide an impression of a creeping warm. ChatGPT's solution is to copy the tail segment from back to front in a loop. This can be done faster by the memmove command. Despite all shortcomings, it's absolutely amazing what this AI is capable of. The code quality is rather beginner level, but ChatGPT really sped up the programming of this game. And it also knows almost forgotten programming languages like COBOL for example and can so help with programming ratio computers. But one question that keeps me up all night is, as AI gets better over time, will there come a point where humans become obsolete? Of course ChatGPT knows the answer. If you disagree, I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments. That's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and enable notifications to never miss any of my new videos. As Patreon or channel member you can even enjoy them without ads. See you next time.